Hello. Yes, that's right. I did mean to cover the alligators in yesterday's video, but I got a bit sidetracked, so I'll do it in this video. I've left the echo link below. I left it below in yesterday's video as well. The echo link below where Joe Anderson's blaming, conveniently like, blaming these uh, four-foot alligators for the uh, plague of rats now infesting Liverpool. Well, firstly, rats aren't infesting Liverpool. There's a plague of them in Kensington and probably Smith Down Road where the Romany Gypsies are. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, there's a plague of rats in Kensington. They're not all over Liverpool. They may, you may be the odd rat killed in County Kirkdale or Norris Green, right? And I'm sure many other wards in and around Liverpool, right? But there's not a plague of them. I live in Norris Green. There's not a plague around here. There's not a plague anywhere. The plague's in Kensington. But you've again conveniently tried to uh, shift it from Kensington and say there's a plague right across Liverpool because you don't want to have to deal with the awful truth of what's happening in Kensington. Anyway, Joe Anderson conveniently blames these four foot alligators and they're going to be taken up and it's going to be a three year project. And all this is, is for people then to believe things are getting sorted and all be, uh, everything will be honky dory. Well, it won't. Trust me, nothing's going to change. And I'll tell you why. Because the more third worlders they keep dumping in Kensington against the wishes of the majority of residents of that community, the more rubbish is going to be dumped and the more rats are going to breed, right? It, it's not rocket science, this, but Joe Anderson, the useless three councillors, Luciana Berger, the so-called MP for the area. None of them are going to address it. They can't address it because once they start addressing it, then they're talking my language then and they're not going to do that. They'll just leave the residents of Kensington to suffer. They will whitewash everything and blame it on racists and whatever else they'll do, right? And hoping it'll all just go away. Now, a good friend of mine made a good analogy about these politicians on local and national level. What they're doing, this is what they're doing. The problems, let's say the problems are in, uh, in the form of a football. They're kicking the football that far ahead. By the time they catch up with it, they're out of office and it's someone else's problem then. That's what they're all doing, right? Get their little nest egg in the bank, get their pension, get their career over with and leave it to someone else then. And that's what's been happening in this country for decades now. The ball's been kicked that far ahead. By the, sitting, by the time the sitting councillor or MP gets to it, they're out of office and it's someone else's problem, right? And that's what they're doing, right? So, but this time, Joe Anderson, the useless three Labour councillors and Luciana Berger, the MP for the area, right? It's not going to work this time and I'll tell you why, because Kensington is sinking quicker than any of us would believe. Trust me, it's going down. There's... I don't know how to describe it. What's the word for it? The place is coming apart at the seams. Maybe that's a good description. As well as the rubbish, I've just got the latest crime statistics um, for Kensington. Uh, I'm going to do that in my next leaflets as well as much, much more. And the, the majority of offences being committed in Kensington are, are sexual violent ones, right? And they're all around a particular... Uh, part of Kensington, a few roads, that's where they all are, right? That's where all the prostitutes are, right? And you still haven't resolved that one. You're blaming the male punters. You should arrest them, all the prostitutes as well. And if they keep going back reoffending, throw them reoffending, throw them in custody, right? And they're off the streets then, aren't they? Of course they are, right? But anyway, have you got the latest crime uh, statistics for Kensington? They don't, they're not, they don't read uh, that good. It's bad, trust me. There's between 200 and 300 crimes being committed in that area every every month, right? And most of them are sexual violent ones. Now, to say there's not a connection with the sexual violent crimes and many other crimes getting committed in the uh, area, to say they're not connected with the third world immigrants that have been dumped in there would be ludicrous. Of course they are, right? You'd have to be mad to believe otherwise. But you see... The residents of Kensington know what's happening there on the ground like I do because I go there, I speak to them, I talk to them, I dialogue with them. Unlike you, Luciana Berger, or probably the three useless councillors, or you, Joe Anderson, right? You can blame racists, you can blame whoever you want, you can try and sugarcoat it, you can pass the book, you can kick the football. 
as far ahead as you can. You can do the whole lot, but Kensington is coming apart at the seams and you're not going to be able to stop this. And also, and also, the public can now see what's happening. They know what's happening when they pick that Liverpool echo up and read that you were saying the uh, four-foot alligator to blame. They, they must have been in stitches, right? They, they, they know who's to blame. Smith Down Road, I nearly forgot that then before they ended the video. Smith Down Road. There's heaps of rubbish piled high. Fridges, furniture, couches, bin bags. But, listen to this. It's piled high on some of them streets. Wendell Street, Withier Street, Home Street. And you go back the next day and it's gone. Because I'll tell you why. The council's moving it because they know it's getting people's backs up. And also, people are now joining the dots. Rats, rubbish and third world immigrants. Okay, thank you.